Yo, 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 how is everybody going? I've got some headphones in, listening to some music because I'm cracking away at some work before the game. I've got my notes here. So my notes are there and then I'm watching the video and I'm going through and I'm choosing some pictures. So what I have to do is go through the video, find a clip that I think would be good for a picture and then write some notes on that and then send it off to my mentor. So a bit of stuff before the game and I wanted to do it. I've got to leave in about an hour, so I wanted to do it before I left, make sure that I'm getting those notes in and understanding the game a bit more before I go so that this week I I can go there and apply the things that I've written down and then I'm improving each week. So I'm getting this done. I'll catch you guys when I'm having some lunch and I'll show you what I'm having there. Maybe not as good as yesterday. I don't know, I don't know what's in the fridge. Right, having a look in the fridge. I want some carbs, good. We got potato salad. There's some meat there. Eggs. Okay, here's my thoughts. Potato salad, mince, eggs, and a carrot. I reckon that sounds all right. What's your prediction for the game today, Dad? Oh, that's a hard call. Olympic tough team. You guys are a bit undermanned at the moment. Yeah, we so, we have a couple of players away. We have Tucker. Uh, someone's injured. Aiden. Aiden's injured. Tucker. Aiden. Anyway, I think you'll be doing well if you get a one-all draw. One-all draw. Same as last week. Same as last week, except last week was two all. So, hopefully, we can get the win. I reckon we can. Actually, he meant the same as last time. Because, like I said, last time we versed them, it was one all. If we can change that, I reckon we can I reckon we can win this one. It'll be tough. They're a good team, but I reckon we can win it. I reckon we're the better team. Here's what I ended up making. We got some mints, sour cream, potato salad. I still haven't had my... Pre-game shower, haven't done, haven't fixed my hair. I still didn't finish off those photos. I took all the screenshots, but now I just need to write the notes on them. That should be pretty easy. And I have, it's 12.19 now. I have to leave it 1.10. So I have 50 minutes, that's a lot of time. Wow, it is bright out here. There we go. Yep, they're dry. Yep. Got my socks, shim pad socks, ready for the game. They weren't washed, but now they are. Going down Spencer's little tunnel thing. That thing is so cool. I need, let's take a pair of shorts just in case. Whoops. And I need that red top. This one will do. There we go, so that's for warm up. Uh, and then I have the white socks in case we play in white. The shin pad socks, which I always wear, they are so good. Ever since I've wear, been wearing them, haven't really had a problem with my shin pads. And the best thing is, my socks, they always fall down. And if we wear white, I kind of just leave them down. <laughs> and my shin pad socks act as socks, so I don't have to pull my socks up, which is excellent. I also just finished uh, my document the photo stuff, so I'm sending that off to my mentor now. I have about 10 minutes to get ready. It's that time. Gotta make sure that the hair is looking good. It's not looking the best today. Still haven't got that haircut either. I don't know whether I want it. I probably should. It's definitely getting a bit long, especially there. Not good. Now it's time to pack my bag. I need that stuff. I'm really looking forward to the game today. Got my fresh looking boots. Oh, they're looking pretty clean. I didn't even clean them. They, oh, they're a little bit, a little bit dirty. But they, they look all right. Now I gotta get my shoes on. Oh, I gotta send that email as well. Send. What time are we? 105. Ideally, I wanna leave in the next couple of minutes. That would be good. 
So it'll be an interesting game to say the least. Um, no one really knows what to expect because they've had some, a couple of really good results, but they've had a couple of really poor results. So we'll see. Same with us though, we've had some good results and we've had some bad results as well. Goodbye. Good luck. Thank you, look at these guys. Hey. <laughs> Two magpies. Anywhere else? Yeah, magpies. Oh, lorikeet up there. Just somewhere there. <laughs> See you later. Good luck. Thank you, bye. And off we go. I'll catch you when, once I get to Chroma. Hopefully see a couple of guys there. Field is looking good. Don't know what the score is in that game, but it is hot today and there is not a cloud in the sky, so it's going to stay like this. I thought it, it's a little bit cold, but it's definitely hot. And out there, it's going to be boiling. Not keen. Well, um, what do you think of the game today? We Sydney Olympic. Yet. At home, what do you think about, what do we need? Three points. Three points? How's the preparation from the lads? It's pretty good, I think. It's a good week in training. Yeah. Back on our home turf, um, playing away last week. The grass isn't great, but um, back on the artificial this week. What do you think, big change or same tactics? What do you think? Yeah, a um, bit distracted before the game. You know, there's a video circulating of one of Marley's friends. And something wrong with him, but um, yeah, now we're focused, we're good to go. I'm here with the uh, captain of Manly Night Under 20s with quick interview, Brent LeMay. Um, thoughts on today? Sydney Olympic at home, back on our home turf. What yeah. do you think? How's preparation been this week? Oh, it's been good. I've been, um, Look at the camera, not oh, me. Sorry, mate. <laughs> I've been um, in fine form all week. Hey, yeah, I've been um, in fine form all week um, at training and everything. But yeah. um, how's your preparation leading up for the game? Um, Have you had any superstitions you like to do before a game? Or? Yeah, I put my right sock on first. My right sock on first and my left one. And um, yeah, just get in the vlog. That's get it. Get in the vlog. <laughs> like, subscribe. Commentary today is going to be a little bit different. I'm just highlighting the key points today. So this guy hits the post. That was like in the second minute. Uh, so, like I said, highlighting the key points and then I'll do a deeper review later in the week. This was a long-range throw. We headed it in. That made it 1-0. That was quite early on. I think it was like the fifth minute or something. And I don't really like long throws too much. I'd rather just put it on the ground and play. But we did score from it, so I'm not complaining. I'm in the middle there on halfway. Uh, pretty good positioning in between all uh, three. I have like a triangle in my head. And then the ball goes forward, and I'm on the back of the defensive midfielder. So that's the goal there. I tell the runner going forward to go near post, and I pick up the scraps. And, well, not the scraps. I pick up the cutback. Beautiful ball by Chewy there. And then I put it far post because I know the keeper won't be able to reach that one. I probably should have put it on the ground, but it went in. I'm not complaining. And moving on, we go on to our second goal. So it's from a throw-in. I win the ball here. Hold on to it for a second because I'm giving space to my teammate. And if if he didn't take that guy on, he could have played me again. But we go forward on, down on the right-hand side and I'm attracting the attention of their right centre-back. And we play the ball down the right. And because I'm keeping the centre-back occupied, our winger can come in and pick up that ball and then shoot. He could have played me back as well. Ball goes in. Doesn't matter at all. I'm happy that it went in. Uh, moving on, they get, they get their first goal here. They go down the left-hand side. This was an amazing finish. I think he did like a behind-the-leg kick with his left foot just out of this world and somehow went in. You can't quite see from the video, but really good finish by him. That made it 3-1 going into half time. I do not know how this wasn't a red. It's on my Instagram in slow-mo, but he came in studs up. Absolutely killed me. My leg still hurts from that. Oh, well... And I, I went in on the side, and he went in studs up and scraped all down my leg, and it absolutely kills. And it's pretty funny. We were I was sitting down there, and I was wasting time as well, but people were telling me to get up, but they didn't actually understand how much it hurt. And then I, the ref eventually comes over, and I show him what it looks like, and he didn't really say much. Uh, this is their second goal, which was an own goal off our defender. So unlucky again. And... Uh, that makes it 3-2, so 
Very unlucky with that one. And then I think this is their... Oh, they won a penalty. So that was them winning the penalty. They take it. Ooh, what's going to happen? Saved, but saved again. 3-2. Going in. They have a corner. They have absolutely crowded the box. Absolutely crowded it. And there's no room in there. And goes in somehow it was just a really good ball keeper couldn't get to it and that made it 3-3 moving on with the video pretty difficult game to take in going from 3-0 to 3-all and two of them being own goals we saved the penalty it was tough um the thing that i was happy with was my positioning was pretty good especially in the first half but my touches were horrible. I had a lot of times where either I panicked, I think it was mainly my body shape wasn't correct, so I was facing backwards and receiving the ball rather than opening up my body and facing forwards a little bit. And if I could do that, then I think I would have been a lot better on the ball because a couple of times I was facing back and I had no idea what was behind me. And if I knew what was behind me, I would have had more confidence to go forward with it. It's just a shame because I would have liked to have my time again. So body shape was a big thing and I remember speaking with my mentor a little bit about it. Hopefully next week I can apply that because I certainly applied the positioning in the first half which I think was very good. It was tough in the second half. They put us under the palm and we just kept clearing it and we didn't have much of the ball. So it was definitely a lot tougher to do correct positioning in the second half. First half I thought that was good. Anyway, that is going to conclude today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Tough game to take in for me. Hope you enjoyed that footage. Another goal to the tally that puts me up onto, you guys have to guess. Let me know how many I've scored in the comments. There'll be a poll as well up here. Let me know how many I've scored. Whether I'm top goal scorer in the league, you have to have a bit of a guess. Let me know. If you did enjoy it, make sure you leave a like, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Listen.